Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of mercy to all who call on you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Welcome to our Tuesday celebration, the last day of winter, where we think about what we're going to be doing in our gardens and uh, how we're going to care for one another in the months ahead. Let us remind ourselves of the great love God has for us as we seek now his mercy and pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, for the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. You will not be expecting us to write anything to you, friends, about times and seasons, since you know very well that the day of the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night. It is when people are saying how quiet and peaceful it is that the worst suddenly happens. As suddenly as labour pains come on a pregnant woman, and there will be no way for anyone to evade it. But it is not as if you live in the dark, my friends, for that day to overtake you like a thief. No, you are children of light and children of the day. We do not belong to the night or to darkness, so we should not go on sleeping as everyone else does, but stay awake and sober. God never meant us to experience the retribution, but to win salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that, alive or dead, we should still live united to him. So give encouragement to each other and keep strengthening one another as you do already. The Word of the Lord. Psalm 26. The Lord is my light and my help, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, before whom shall I shrink? I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him, hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town in Galilee, and taught them on the Sabbath. And his teaching made a deep impression on them because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue there was a man who was possessed by the spirit of an unclean devil, and it shouted at the top of its voice, Ha! Huh, what do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus said sharply, Be quiet, come out of him. And the devil, throwing the man down in front of everyone, went out of him, without hurting him at all. Astonishment seized them, and they were all saying to one another, 
what teaching? He gives orders to unclean spirits with authority and power, and they come out. And reports of him went all through the surrounding countryside. The Gospel of the Lord. Yesterday we began some new readings. We had Paul writing to his friends in Thessalonica, and uh, it's really about the end of days and how they were believing that, well, the Lord promised he's going to return. It must be going to happen soon, um, if not in our lifetime. And how should we prepare for it? That's the beginning of it yesterday, and Paul is continuing uh, to this expound to them that, well, it's just about being watchful. Watchful for the signs and watchful for that time. And in the meantime, continue to work as if it's not going to happen at the end of the day, but perhaps tomorrow or the next day. So just keep living, keep doing what you're doing, but just be mindful that it is going to happen. We hear a bit more about that in the next few days. And we have a new gospel. Luke is our new gospel, which we started yesterday as well, where Jesus was in Nazareth, his hometown, and we've left a few chapters now, and he's left his hometown because they didn't agree with him. Remember, he was in the synagogue, and they were amazed. But surely this is just the, the boy from around the corner, Mary and Joseph's child. And he couldn't do much work there. Well, we're on to chapter 4 now today. And we have him in Capernaum on the lake side. And this is his base of operation. And he's showing them that part of his uh, messianic story is to heal people. And he proves that by healing the person with the demon in him this day. And of course, uh, if you saw someone thrown on the ground and had become well again, uh, you would be astonished. Imagine what it was like in the day of Jesus. And uh, no wonder they said what teaching, what power, what authority he has even to expel the devil from this poor man here. And reports of him obviously went throughout the countryside as they were walking, going to the market, going to see their friends. And that's how his name uh, was made known even before he reached the next town. So we uh, continue to uh, be amazed ourselves by the works of Jesus and we are his hands today and we are called to be part of that reign of his kingdom here and now. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given, and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, 
Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering cancelled out our sins by his rising from the dead. He has opened also for us the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as with our end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Archbishop Paul, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. As our Lord has taught us, we dare now pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. 
we share with one another the peace of the Lord and pray for those who cannot be with us. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you and our neighbour. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you this day, the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And Mass is ended, go in the peace of the Lord. Have a happy day, everyone. Oh, yeah.